What is some rich shit you do even though you're not rich? Go for a vacation. And when on vacation, I become vacation Terry. And on vacations, I do whatever I want to do. 9am I order a cocktail with my breakfast. On vacation I don't look at the price. I just do. Although there's some reality check before leaving I always transfer my budget to another account I have which usually has no balance. From there on, I only check how much I have left at the end of the day. Sometimes I scale from ordering the best cocktail at the world's highest bar to mixing some JD in my coke bottle and carry it wherever I go. I constantly look up multi-million homes in various areas. Both random well-known areas and local to see what I could get if I was rich. Some of the houses in big cities are terrible. There was one in London claiming to be a four-bedroom but one bedroom was only accessible via another. They had basically claimed a large closet as another bedroom to jack up the price. Another had a windowless room at the rear of the house for some reason. Just a second floor room in the middle of the house that looked like a murder room. I really love high-end grocery stores. They sell some of the coolest foods. I pride myself on having the palate of a raccoon, but I have been getting pretty snobby lately about low-brow food like the sort of wings you buy at a 7-Eleven. Good lord they're low quality. They taste no better than microwaving frozen shit. I go to the nearby cafe each morning. In my mind I'm basically paying for the good company, rather than for the coffee. I will stop going there very soon, though, because of money everything is getting more expensive, while my salary is still the same, and I'm just glad I'm actually salaried. I have adopted a black cat. That might not sound very exotic rich people stuff. But every time I look at him I can help to think I've got this incredibly beautiful graceful mini jaguar in my house solely because I love its companionship and looking at it. Feel like a king with him. My old mom and I will often go next door to get the spinach artichoke dip fresh out of the pizza oven with a basket of tortilla chips for $13. Which, it's just an appetizer, but still. It's good to live in a nice area. Even if it's full of those pesky college kids. I go into Marks and Spencer fancy British brand and buy things for lunch like their hell expensive pulled pork sausage rolls, prawn cocktails, fancy salads etc. I like to pretend I'm a fancy lady for a few minutes every couple weeks lol. Buy expensive items like the best of everything in the store you get what you pay for buy cheap shit it's crap buy expensive nice and take care of it you have nice cool things and if you run out of money it's worth something at the pawn shop. Looks left. Looks right. Sometimes, when I'm checking out at the grocery store, I won't enter my member number. And then I tell the cashier to keep the receipts I don't even have to look at how much money I didn't save. Reading your comments make Esme realize you really don't know what rich people do. Like one friend working as a bodyguard for billionaires told me one day you think like poor people. Personally I hired a personal cook. Nice wine and gin martinis. Not daily. Not even weekly. But I'll drink wine one a month or maybe six weeks, and I'll buy a $60 or $70 bottle. Gin martinis three or four times a year, but I feel like it's a fancy thing. I have a couple clean my home, and I buy craft beer. With the possibility of food, these are my two biggest expenses. Fortunate in that I own my condo got it cheap right before real estate exploded. Every so often three four months Mary Maids comes to my house and clean. My BF says I should clean. But I'm on dialysis and damn it I'm just too exhausted at times to do it. Dialysis is hard on a body. Invest in stocks and shares, even though the returns are so small for the pathetic amount I contribute. I'd probably be better off going on TikTok live and doing the chicken dance. My house stays at 68 in the summer and 72 in the winter. Fuck that try to keep the electric bill down bullshit. I work way too fucking hard to be uncomfortable in my house. I only buy real maple syrup. It's several orders of magnitude better than all the other high fructose corn syrup. And I use it in my baked beans in various glazes. Sail solo on a double occupancy balcony room on a cruise ship. It nearly costs me 2x the double occupancy fare to go solo, but I get the room all to myself. By name brand. I've made a conscious effort to stop doing so but some stuff I sacrifice the cost for the quality. Still bothers me how much it costs though. Buy the $6 bottle of coffee creamer knowing damn well I'm on the $3 bottle kind of budget. I can't help it though. Gabani sweet cream just hits different. Cooking, deep sea fishing, bottle service but I work at the bar so it's cheap AF. Ride around in lease Mercedes and have a $6,000 puppy stripper GF. I buy small trash bags for the bathroom trash bins. My whole family uses grocery bags. But I don't like how they always rip at the bottom. Airport lounges. Comfy chairs. 
free beer, lunch and less rift half. I'd be paying for all that stuff anyway so it pays for itself really. Keep buying new earphones when I lose them instead of spending 20 minutes looking for them. Crying face. I hate Bluetooth kilometers seriously a downgrade. I just do what I want without giving a f about the rules lol. I dunno when the switch flipped but one day I just stopped giving a f. Kill pheasants. Admittedly accidentally whilst driving, but I still consider myself as upper class when I do it. Just with guilt. I tip servers like I'm rich because I used to work in the restaurant industry and I know all too well how brutal it can be. Some days I have two sandwiches at lunch. I smile as I watch all my fellow proletariats eating their single sandwich. I buy the gel comfort pens. Makes me feel I'm a higher class when writing at work. Smooth crisp consistent ink. I don't do yard work. I go to work so someone else can do it for me. I hate it and I always get poison ivy. I buy cashmere clothing for winter, it's soft, warm and comfy. Normally have to limit myself to one a month. I won't buy crappy tires, shoes, or a bed. Don't cheap out on what you put between you and the ground. Go to Japan every two years. My husband's family lives there and we just manage our money around it. On expensive cars, I can afford the payments. But I regret treating myself to such a high budget. Buy rounds of drinks at bars like a baller. Order premium scotches, cuz, that's my vice. I always eat good for every meal. No cold sandwiches or a bowl of cereal, always big meal. I take Uber's lifts all over and YC when I'm there. I'm old and I like looking at everything. Buy name brand, expensive makeup. In my defense it lasts much longer than drugs tour. Upgrading to business class on long haul flights to the east. It is so much better. No margarine in my house, butter only, and lots of it. My arteries think I'm rich. Buy nice boots. Had a pair of shoes that hurt my feet so I justify it with that. Once in a blue moon going to the rich shopping mall. Usually around Christmas. We have a garage fridge that is full of all different kinds of beverages. Every so often, I eat at restaurants that cost $50 to $100 per person. Buy Charmin. Haven't convinced myself to buy Bounty but getting closer. Ordering Uber Eats. $50 for two McDonald's meals. No problem. Build exotic imported cars online even though I can't afford them yet. Grocery shopping. I even go window shopping in the meat section. Sit on my $1000 phone while bitching about first world problems. I occasionally order from DoorDash or other delivery services. Tipping more than 30 when I think the service is really good. Food. I buy when I want and I try new stuff. I like cooking. I use fountain pens. Not cheap or expensive ones either. T-H-O. Coffee. All about that coffee. The beans, maker, grinder. Go on a ski trip and rent a chalet with friends every year. Invest. Buy expensive pashminas. Eat out at fancy restaurants. Buy bounty paper towels. It just feels like the fancy shit. I keep buying Teslas. I can't help it. I buy and walk away. I don't finish food in the restaurant if I don't like it. Embarrassed smiley face. I buy the Magnum condoms even though I don't use them. I use bounty paper towels and Charmin toilet paper.